hello and welcome back to Iratus. We are heading out to deal with more pesky dwarves in their own tunnel, but uh, that's kind of my underground, so uh, they're just invading, frankly. But not like I need any uh, excuses, and uh, no, I just I don't I don't care. We're just gonna kill them. That's the way to go. Two Dark Knights, one Banshee. Ooh, this might be a low damage team. But not much I can do about it. We can go into the graveyard. Mortuary. Yeah. We're just chilling. Can I take the Bride of Iratus? No, no, no. She needs to stay. Should I upgrade this leech? Before he gets bonus XP. Give him a brain. I only have one brain left. So, maybe not. Uh, you're just gonna chill there. I, I think we're just gonna give that one brain to someone who is actually gonna use it. No offense, but you're dumb as hell. So, let's go with the main team. And, uh, well, main team kind of changes every time. Uh, we got a good bit mana. So... I can't set them on fire, so Mocking Slap is not gonna work. They don't have armor. Uh, two of them have wards, but in the back. Uh, we're gonna do Spine Bomb. Have a little tingle up your spine. Mm -hmm. I'll just go for a regular attacks. Alchemist would be really nice to kill. I believe. Oh, that's not good. That goes for everyone. Oh, fuck you. It's so messy. Yeah, I can curse one of the guys. I'm not sure who. Maybe the trader? Oh, invalid target. We can only curse someone in the front. So, we're dealing with the guy in the, in the second position. He can go Ravenous Abyss. And I, we have to. Have a little tingle in your spine. Because I have a lot of rats and I'm not using it. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Need to get in close. He attacks two targets. That's pretty damn good. The mummy is still not in an ideal uh, position, but it's better now. Is there any way to go back? We can do Absorb Rat. I don't want that. We can try to really stress out this guy in the front, but I think that's a bit of a lost cause. We can do Hex Beam maybe. Okay, the mummy is back. We're taking a lot of damage. I, I was concerned that we're gonna have a, a party that just... Wait, who's this one? They look the fucking same. Oh, I, I think this is the one. Uh, let's just use the ability, the ulti. Dark Nets are fucking insane. Yeah, this is the the level 5 one. I can tell by the HP. Uh, maybe Have just go with a bomb. Tingle up your spine. Remove all buffs from the targets. Does it include... That? No. It doesn't include wards. He is going to die to the bomb. 
if that bomb ever triggers. We can just gain mana. Oh, miss. Oh my god, he has two wards? Jesus Christ. Miss. Okay. He comes again, and he shouldn't be the one to use the Ravenous Abyss. It needs to be the other guy. Uh, well, the Alchemist is gonna blow up still. Have a little tingle up your spine. I don't know what to do here. I don't want to hit the guy in the front, because he's gonna die for sure. You can just get mana. Let's do that. I can make them skip a turn. Or... I don't know, let's not do that, just scream at them. And now we're gonna go for the heal. Pull somebody into the front. It doesn't come out. Yeah, it doesn't work because of the block. So, That's the bomb. A thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. It's pretty good. Each buff or debuff on the target. Impale this wretch. I just slide in. Slide in again. Uh, we can lower the damage. Uh, I don't mind the guy dying in the back. Well, let's just kill him. Before he gets the chance. Uh, yeah, let's just scream at them. This wretch. Uh, let's just get mana. I don't think this would work. No, it wouldn't. Magic damage. He's gonna resist physical damage. Soon this world. You ran away! Die. What a puss! Come back, you puss! God damn it. Okay, the zombie healed up a little bit, but that doesn't really matter too much. We got extra parts. Whoa, actually you found unique parts? That's really good. I didn't know we can do that. I don't have those. Okay. Uh, let's go for chance of receiving parts at the end of battle by 20%. Then we go gonna go for transplantation. Through transformation, the will becomes. I just need free. parts, okay? I really need them. Whoa, what the fuck we got here? Lost soul? Let's make one. There are many foes for you to play with. Okay, so Lost Soul has average HP, basically new armor, a little bit of block, so. Pretty bad. So far it's like a 3 out of 10 for defense, but it has good initiative, so maybe. Looks like average attack, but we should just look at the abilities. Stress main attack deals 16.5 stress damage to a target and behind it. And the targets gain accuracy until the, the battle ends. What the fuck? Why would I do that? <laughs> would this we deal even more stress damage and they still gain accuracy? And this just ignores ward. And that actually is not a good choice because if you're using this, you would probably want to proc ward with it. You can't just keep ignoring ward. Support restores 16 health to target ally? At the start of next turn, attacks the chosen ally and deals 16 damage. Attack doesn't spend an action. 
the fuck? So this ability is something you do at the very end of the game. A very end of the round. So you know that the attack will not trigger next round. And that's it. Or maybe that uh, ally has ridiculously high magic armor. Which would be kind of hard to reach. Like You can gain some advantage here because it's 16. And if we hit, have a no Dark Knight here or a, a zombie, these have at least uh, 9, I mean 6 resistance. So that's kind of okay. So you definitely gain an advantage here. So you can heal for 10 at least. But that's not amazing in the first place. This is something that you do at the very end. Actually, yeah, this just lowers the amount of damage you take. This is just straight up better, frankly. <laughs> the price of glory. Because how would you use this ability is that you just use it at the very end. I think. Because if you just keep spamming it in the fight, you would most likely have a... She would be not worth using, honestly. Because you can have you can be spamming like 45 damage. Do you really want to be spamming 10 heal? Because that's exactly what you would get. Magic attack deals uh, pretty good damage. The target deals 50 more damage uh, until the battle end of the battle. I don't know. Yeah. We can only use this at the very first position. And she will never be on the very per first position. Unless she's about to die. But like, yeah, I guess. Target deals. Like, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is like... The problem with these abilities is that like... This can only be used at the very end of the fight. Or maybe if you're... You have like, like a crazy amount of magic armor. So you don't want to up her magic uh, damage. Actually, this is going to be... Be upping that. Whatever. Uh, inspire heroics. I don't know. So far I'm not super impressed. What is this? Oh, the only difference is... Ah, I was actually looking forward to that. That she can use this from the first two spots. Instead of the first one spot. This is actually probably better. Except for the fact that this gives her uh, HP, which is probably better. Deals... 8 stress damage to everybody. Targets gain 1 initiative until the end of combat. This is terrible. Okay. 2 initiative until the end of... Are you fucking kidding me? And they also gain a chance to escape until the end of battle. Oh man. I don't know. Buff the target gains 2 wards, but deals 20% less damage for the next 2 actions. But 2 magic wards only. I mean, this could be okay. Dubious boon. This could be okay on a non-damager. But keep in mind, uh, it's 20% less damage. I think it's all damage. Even, uh, even dread is damage. The target gains one block and one ward, but deals 20% less damage, fine. This is a little bit more... Yeah... I don't know. <laughs> this is so weird. I think the problem is that a lot of these are maybe like, oh, yeah, this kind of makes sense with something other very specific, but... I don't have so many very specific units to use here. <laughs> I don't know. Lost soul. You're pretty lost, I have to say. So what do we have? A mummy. Fuck me. Uh, let's just go back. And uh, take these out. They are ready. That's... Uh, yeah. We have to put in... Her to heal. Oh, actually the Dark Knight took some damage. That's great. 
I didn't realize he can do that. So, these are just standing in line for the heals. This Dark Knight is gonna be picking up some slack for the time being. Bride of Iratus. Uh, it's an excellent choice for damage. But uh, we're gonna need something else along with it. And this is just useless. What am I supposed to do with the lost soul? I don't get it. I mean, we have some end of battle heal. We have, I mean, an okay magic damage. But the target deals more damage. That's insane. And this can be only used in the first position, which you will not occupy, unless, unless, yeah, I mean, it's, you got shuffled there. But in that case, you're not using the misleading beauty because, because uh, of the damage. You just want to go back. Like we can stre uh, stress out everybody. I mean, the panic wave might be okay. Chance to escape, so they can just run away, and also gives her more initiative. But everybody else, god damn it! <laughs> it seems so bad. It seems so fucking bad. And also, she's not someone who can be uh, used in the very back. We can use the dubious boon. 10 less damage, but this is just magic wards, and this is more uh, general. I don't know. Magic is less common than physical. <gasps> what is this shit? <gasps> it's so bad. This is so bad. Holy crap. The problem is this is just too damn situational. Right? I can give her a brain, but that's not gonna fix the problem. Uh, let's just give her a level 3 brain. So again, I shouldn't upgrade this because it's super situational. We can go for a uh, price of glory. Uh, this upgrades it by 4 points. And the damage is not getting upgraded. At all. So that's that's good. I don't know what even uses... Yeah, yeah. only this one uses the magic attack. Support, restore, a bunch of vigor to an ally. At the start of next turn, attacks uh, the chosen ally and deals uh, 12 damage. Attacks don't spend action. So this heals for 16 and deals uh, 12 damage to the ally. And this one heals for 20 and deals 16 damage to the ally. So, same 4 point difference between heal and damage. Although, I admit that Peace of the Eternal is probably easier to mitigate. So, if you have 6 armor, this is gonna give you more efficient heal, in a way. Price of Glory. Unless she somehow forgets to attack. <laughs> I don't see how the fuck this is gonna... Wait, is it possible that if she gets to put on another spot, then she forgets to attack? Because she needs to use this on, on position 3. I think Price of Glory is one of her main attacks. But I don't know what the fuck else. Because everything else sucks. <laughs> God, we can we can use searing wisdom, but even that is like no, no. We can just keep stressing people out and make them uh try to escape. I think we that's what we do. Panic My wave with price of glory. Nasty surprise. So she's gonna be fuck me. She needs to be over here. Bride of Iratus. What about the leech? <laughs> The lead sucks! The lead sucks! What is this? Kills an ally! No! What the hell is this? Too situational! 
Oh, I mean, not even situational. Where the fuck when I wanna kill an ally? Select the ally gains 14 attack and... Uh... And 14 dread for one turn. I mean, that's fine. Wait, what? Oh, and he shuffles forward for that. No, he needs to shuffle the fuck back. Yeah, he needs to shuffle the fuck back. The last thing we need is uh, this skinny boy to be in, in the front. No, 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 you're not gonna do that. That's what he's gonna spam. He's just gonna spam... He doesn't care about anything. He's just gonna spam uh, other allies dealing more damage. <laughs> Magic attack deals random damage. Fine, whatever. That's, that's fine by me. I mean, this is not terrible. Like, what is better? We dealing 23-ish uh, uh, damage to a random enemy, or... Or, I don't know, like Bride of Iratus, gaining a boost and using that. Probably a, to a good effect. So I think both of these are decent. I, this would be my runner-up. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Creates a cloud at the target position for two rounds, dealing a lot of stress damage to any enemy that enters it. But how does entering work? I, I think they just, you know, I think the first two are going to be our main abilities. And uh, we need to just shuffle Get the fuck back. back. To battle. So he's going to be over there. And we have a Banshee here that doesn't have a home. But I guess that's fine. Uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah, the Banshee can just come over here and uh, try to level up. Oh, actually the Banshee will level up. Anyone else who will level up? Oh, the Bride of Iratus will level up. That's really good. Okay. Can I just make new minions? I can. But in order to... I would need to... Give them new locations as well. I can upgrade the Obelisk. But that's about it as far as I know. Actually, no, this needs a Lich. Can I get a Lich? I, I already have a Lich, but... Yeah, I I kind of like the mana restore. Can I can I get a lich for that? Do we have a lich? Okay, let's make a lich. Hopefully not from special sources, not just a uh, random crap. Make a lich. Go into the graveyard. Sacrifice the lich. The dead don't get to rest. That's nice. Um and create the fuck we want. I don't know. Maybe a... Maybe a mummy. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do the mummy. <laughs> I don't care. Let's do they a mummy. Will carry the curse let's do of zombie my too. Tomb to the world. Zombie's even better. We can even make another zombie. <clears throat> okay, the zombie's gonna be in there. Uh, praying. We don't need another zombie. Uh, we can we can uh, sacrifice a banshee and a mummy here. Just something to keep in mind for later. Yeah, we can sacrifice a mummy here and start getting uh, souls of the architect. Maybe we're gonna do that. Time to we can get even more mummies. Guns. I mean zombies. Zombies are so damn fucking good. So cheap, I like him. Uh, we can afford this. And put in the zombie. That's fine. So, we're generating as much as we can. Not from this. But that's all we can do. Let's fucking uh, go. Uh, building the town is uh, part of uh, the... Gameplay. So let's go with squad one. I don't expect the lost soul to do too much here. Yeah, and probably uh, Bride of Iratus is gonna get banged up big time. The Oracle. So we can proc their armor. Impale this wretch. 
dubious boon. No, no, no. I want a, maybe a panic wave. And chance to escape. Directly affected by the remaining amount of sanity. No, we're not doing that. Let's do a panic wave. Oh. Buff their chance to run away. Yeah. Six percent. Oracle. Uh, let's just take her out if we can. Yeah, we need to stand our ground if possible. Each time the enemy receives a buff, I don't know about that. I, I can't really slide back because uh, Bride of Iratus will get will get hit too much. Let's see what we have. We can deal magic damage or just buff a target. Kill an ally! Oh my god, so bad! Ignition. Magic damage to all allies and enemies except itself. So bad. But I guess if you have a party that has really high magic uh, resistance, maybe this is just garbage. And not... Uh, you probably should just uh, disable it. Set the target on fire for two turns, dealing... Ooh, really? This could be actually pretty okay. But... Also, this could be decent with uh, magic ward. So we could trigger our own magic ward. And uh, just apply this to everybody. I mean, it's not really decent. I mean, it's, it's complete garbage, let's be honest here. <laughs> Okay. I just want them to run away, okay? But they, oh my god, what? What the hell, skinny boy? I thought you were gonna be decent. Oh, it doesn't stack. I just had to know. Or maybe it's gonna be for two rounds now. A doubtful. Very doubtful. Uh, pff, I don't know. I mean, this is decent. Even without the heal. Come on, guys, run away. 11% chance. Oh my god. That's a decent hit. Uh, sure. We can do some physical damage. That's not good. Have a warm end, my friend. Okay, let's just keep buffing the ranger. What kind of fire we're dealing with here? Oh my god, that's a pretty good true damage. The lost soul is so bad. <gasps> oh man. I can't move. I can't move with the Dark Knight. This is not a good party. That comes from everyone. I don't know. It's not really coming for the enemy right now. Look at that. 32 damage plus a lot of fire. I mean, this is not terrible. You kind of know who's good here, Lich. Well, the Musketeer is actually very dangerous. It's dead? Oh my god. Okay, Bride of Viratus, you're not bad. You're pretty okay. But they're not running away. Actually, like, partially I'm kind of testing that. If they run away, but they don't. Have a warm end, my friend. Oh. 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 
Yeah, she's taking too much damage. Okay, we can wait with the Lost Soul, maybe? No, we can't. Is it possible? So it seems like the Lost Soul is gonna come at the very end of next turn. Or maybe... No, no, no. We can't. We can't wait with the Lost Soul. They're not running away at all. Oh man. He does have a ward. So he will get the heal and not take the damage. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna take... He has ward on, on himself, so... That should be decent. Uh, Bride of Iratus uh, doesn't. Kills an ally. <gasps> I mean, come on. No, no. How crazy you think I am? I'm not doing... Oh my god. I'm just a little afraid to even click that by accident. It would be this easy. Uh, super heal. At the start of next turn. So we can heal the Lich for free. He's dead. Every, well, when the dwarf comes, he's dead. So just go for some mana. I don't know what to do. Oh, kill an ally. That's what we fucking need, right? Or just set all my allies on fire. That's pretty good too. As your suffering ends, Sounds good. Okay. Begins. Not too bad. So I understand the lost one a little bit better, but it's still pretty fucking lost. <laughs> Even with the magic wards. Yeah. That's kind of lackluster. So we can check out the graveyard and just uh, pull in. Oh, we got. Oh, maybe I should start building uh, a team too. Maybe that's too soon for that. Okay. These are leveled up. Level 4, Banshee. All minions gain 8 dread for their next action. Fine. Well, we can keep shouting Deafening Veil, vale, which is kind of the Lich equivalent. But actually, it's worse than the Lich equivalent because this also slides back the Lich and it hits the high damaging uh, minion. And this one just hits everybody. Which is just uh, worse. Absorb fear. I don't know. This just seems so bad. Uh, desolate scream. I mean, this is the a good way to remove a buff, but definitely a pretty bad ability. And no, it's just bad. Absorb fear. I guess we can do that. So what do I want? Buff removal. And in order to use Howl, we also need to be in the first two spots. Howl is one of the best. They can just keep stunning uh, uh, them for 35 rat, which is actually pretty damn good. But we cannot make the, the Banshee tanky at all. We can get a little bit of uh, physical armor. A little bit of health, but that's fucking it. And uh, it seems like Ab Absorb Terror is actually a better ability than uh, Absorb Rats. So it's it's a tough call. Desolate Scream is just the Banshee that likes to hide in the back. Mostly. And that seems to be my Banshee these days. 
I don't know what to do. Deafening Veil. This is not gonna be a good ability, no matter what I do. But this is not gonna be a good ability, no matter what I do either. So, it's just kinda bad. Absorb rats. Wait, is there a way to make this better? Target has a 50% chance to skip their next turn. Interrupt stances. This is actually just straight up worse. And what we have here. Target skips their next turn. Oh my god, what? Look at that. It deals 2 to 3 magic attack. <laughs> That's basically the most useless upgrade ever. But I, I guess the whole point of that is that... Well, it's not most useless in a way because you can get some damage here and you can get some damage here as well maybe damage here as well so you can make it something but it's definitely uh pretty bad but yeah going for evasion but that, that's just not worth getting even for the evasion it's just not worth getting maybe we're just gonna go for desolate scream or do i need someone who just stands over there i don't fucking know because we can spam howl and that is going to work Pretty fucking damn well. Time and proper because why reduce their damage when you can just make them take, uh, make make them do no damage? But of course it costs uh, rat. But it's still pretty damn fucking good. Yeah, that's that's a terrible upgrade. We don't need this, and these are not super useful. Do I really need Rat instead of uh, Mana? Mana seems just so much better than Rat. And this doesn't seem like a great trade. This seems like the GTFO ability. But then we still need to s something to back it up. So I think we gotta need the Desolate Scream no matter what eventually. This one already has the Desolate Scream. So th the only problem is that I have two Banshees that are identical. She needs to heal, and I can actually she needs to heal as well. The the zombie needs to heal. So now we have an ultimate upgrade for one of the bride of Iratuses. Inflicts a critical hit, and this gives us armor. Okay, interesting. And the critical hit deals 200% damage instead of 150. I think that's the base. So. That's nice, I guess. <laughs> what, what's over here? Oh, okay. Wait, is that really worth it? I don't think so. Because... Wait, how, how could that be worth it? Because this inflicts a critical hit guaranteed, and critical also makes them take stress damage, and... Does it, does it, no, 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 critical hit will, will deal 200% damage, like, just compare, like, this will deal 200% damage, so the base is gonna be, like, at least 22. And, I mean, not 22, actually, 28. It just seems bad? I, I don't really get it. So, this seems pretty good, Bloody Rose. Uh, yeah, let's just go for Bloody Rose. And also makes us more tankier. I, I guess maybe this is uh, favored because also makes my basic attacks better. But I, I don't mind uh, being a little tankier. Well, my minion. Even though it, she's basically co completely a lost cause in that regard. Dark Knight is getting stronger. But maybe this Dark Knight is gonna be... Taking the, the... Well, taking charge here. Ah, I need damage. We gotta take someone who has who has damage. Wait. Uh, let's just check the XP. So this Dark Knight should just go in here to go up to level 4. Uh, this knight, Dark Knight is gonna take charge, and this Banshee, or maybe this Banshee, is just gonna find out if uh, stunning people is actually viable. 
I can get another Banshee. So let's get another Banshee. Uh, hopefully it, it would be better with a regular heart. Because this is gonna be a sacrifice. For your performance. Do I just take more Bride of Iratuses? I just, just make more of them. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what we need right now. Okay, graveyard. Go in here. Uh, sacrifice. That's fine. I cannot fill any more slots here. From what I can tell. Actually, no. We have access to a lost soul. Holy crap. I'm not just realizing it. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit everywhere. <sighs> but the Dread Lake and uh, the abode of uh, rats needs a lost soul. And uh, I don't have one right now. I can't make one right now. We need some uh, echoplasm. Ectoplasm, whatever. Selected bones. Transplantation. Uh, I want to go to Relic Seeker. Let's just see if we can free. make some upgrades here. So we got the Dark Knight. <laughs> okay, I have nothing to put in. Can we make some downgrades? Oh, shit. You can definitely make some downgrades. But if you... If you change it, you actually lose the one that's in. Oh, fuck me. Well, I guess that's at least good to know, but... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, where to next? Some uh, ancient coffin filled with items? Fuck yeah, let's do that. I don't know, but th Team 1 can handle that. What we got here? Oh, this is purple. Stress damage increased by 25%. Uh, critical damage is reduced by 20%. Uh, I like this more. Or more luck. I mean, if anyone is spamming stress damage, then the stress damage one should be the no-brainer. And I, I have a guy that spams stress damage. Uh, Stress damage, so that's pretty good. I don't know. 25% seems pretty good. Uh, luck seems okay. It's basic. Well, that's that's not as good as it seems, but it's it's okay. And critical damage getting reduced. Let's just take the soul gem. For my future kingdom. But I can't really use it on anybody right now. It's not a great choice, even on the lost soul. Okay. We're ready to head out. But, uh, that's it for now, guys. I, I know there's like, it's a little finicky. But, yeah, I kind of like it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, see you guys next time.